Workers at Wauwatosa Air Quality Company are breathing a sigh of relief tonight. They fell victim to a carbon monoxide leak. Julia Fellow talked to the president of the company, who tells us it was all because of the weather. Julia. And Mike and Carol, the fact that this happened, a carbon monoxide leak happened at an air quality removal company is purely ironic. This could happen to your home. Snow had covered their vents outside here, which caused those alarms inside to go off. Len Brulier showed us the annoying sound he walked into this morning. And I immediately smelled the presence of some sort of gas. They called 911 and firefighters could immediately tell what went wrong. They pretty much just uh, got up on the roof where the, the HVAC units are located and saw that they were covered with snow. Had you it, not? Yeah, it could have been bad. I mean, really, people just pass out and, you know, that's when you see ambulances come. And Assistant Fire Chief Jim Case revealed the device that immediately threw up a red flag. Uh, the readings we initially got were somewhere in the area of 150 to 160 parts per million, which is about 10 to 15 times the normal, normal readings. I didn't even realize it was that high. They just said it was a high level. And ultimately, if the readings really get high over a long period, could cause death. Firefighters were able to use fans to air out the building. Now it's back to business as usual. But a reminder to check the vents are clear around your home and that your carbon monoxide detectors are working. And I might have just thought, eh, it's, you know, the heat running, who knows. But, you know, with that detector, it's kind of hard to ignore. I mean, they're pretty loud. And this air impurity removal company should not be the only business that should have carbon monoxide, carbon monoxide alarms on every level of their business. It should also be in your home, especially your basement where your furnace lives. Reporting live in Wauwatosa, Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4. Yeah, those detectors could save your life. Julia, thank you very much. Okay.